today I'm talking about some classical curriculum resources. Hi friends, welcome back to Common the Chaos Homeschool. My name is Davine and today I'm going to be covering some classical curriculum options and resources. Now I'm not a classical educator. I do not use the classical style with my children, though I do use some classical curriculum. These are just curriculum that I have heard of in my researching of curriculum. I'm really interested in curriculum, so these are ones that I've heard of. And so I'm just going to go through and offer you some options if the classical style was something that resonated with you. If you have used some of these resources yourself, feel free to add in the comments below any important information that I may miss in this video. All right, so let's get started. The classical homeschooling style emphasizes seeking after truth, goodness, and beauty with the study of liberal arts and great books. It is commonly viewed as very rigorous as you are studying a lot of more older classics. You might be studying Latin and just a large variety of things. It follows the trivium, the grammar, logic, or dialectic and rhetoric stages of development, and it's very literature-based with an emphasis of learning through the use of very classical literature. I will link above my video about the different homeschooling styles if you'd like to get a more complete overview of this style. So here are the resources that I'm going to be covering in this video. First of all, I'm starting with a book recommendation, The Well-Trained Mind by Susan Weisbauer. The popular curriculum options that I have researched are Well-Trained Mind Press, Classical Academic Press, Memoria Press, Veritas Press, Panda Press, and Classical Conversations. So let's start out with the Well-Trained Mind and why am I starting with a book recommendation. I feel like if you are a new homeschooler and you're interested in the classical style, it might be hard to pick curriculum without knowing the fundamentals and the basics of a classical education. So this book is a very well-known book that covers the classical style of homeschooling very extensively. I myself have read this book and it walks you through why you might be interested in using the classical style and how to implement it in your homeschool. It also has a ton of resources for different books for the different levels and stages that your child is in. I highly recommend this book if you are interested in the classical style of education to get started and it will help you when you're looking at these other curriculum options know better why you're picking what you're picking. So let's take a look at Well-Trained Mind Press. So Well-Trained Mind Press is obviously associated with the Well-Trained Mind, the book I just mentioned. So they have their own website, welltrainedmind.com. This is a Christian curriculum, as you will find many classical education are Christian curriculums. However, I do have one that is secular that I will be bringing up later in the slides. So it's a Christian curriculum. And when I looked at the prices, I was pretty impressed. The things in general, each subject looked to be about $20, 30 $40 dollars. If you went with resources from this site, I think that it would be quite inexpensive. The resources on this site are physical, so textbooks and workbooks. I was very impressed with the website. It has a lot of great information for new homeschoolers, as well as places that you can get together with other people and have a dialogue about what you're teaching or learning. There are some popular curriculum series that The Well-Trained Mind puts out that I have definitely heard of, including Story of the World, First Language Lessons, and Writing with Ease. So let's take a look at the website. Okay, so here I am at welltrainedmind.com. And as I mentioned, it has a lot of homeschooling help here. So your first step, second step, third step, and investigating further. So that would be definitely a good place to look if you are new to homeschooling. And then they have their store. So you could go and shop by grade, for example. And then you could say, okay, elementary school. And then they just have all of their, all of their, all of their curriculum here. So Story of the World is a very popular, popular um, series, goes through the story of history in four volumes. And this is a very classical approach to study history in four segments. So you would do ancient history, the Middle Ages, early modern history, and then finally modern history. So if you're in the homeschooling world, you will hear about the story of the world. So that's kind of the area you could find things. 
by grade. Here's the community. So they have social groups and clubs. So it looks like you can chat with people. So just a lot of interesting things on this website. All right, so I do recommend that you take a look at some of the curriculum on this site. So that is The Well-Trained Mind. Let's take a look at the next one. Classical Academic Press. This is a Christian curriculum. It is in the mid to more expensive range, and we'll take a look when we get to the website there. It has physical textbooks and workbooks that you can purchase, or you can purchase a few online courses, but these are just individual courses, so this is not a full course load. And the popular curriculum series that I saw there include writing and rhetoric, primary mathematics, and sing song Latin or Spanish. So those are a few curriculums that I have definitely seen people do reviews on and talk about. So here is the website for Classical Academic Press. Let's take a look at the store. So you can just scroll through here. Here's the writing and rhetoric books. And you really just have to scroll through here or type in what you're interested in finding. But I did mention those more popular curriculums that you might wanna do more research on if this is the type of stuff you're interested in seeing. So they have product lines, so Sing Song Latin, and they do Spanish too. I've heard a lot of stuff about that. A fun way for younger kids to learn the language, writing and rhetoric. People use that for writing. The other thing that I've heard of from this site is the, not sure how to say their science, no, Novair Science, I just saw it. Novair Science, so I have heard of that science. I'm not remembering what I heard about it, but it is one that I have heard of before. So looks like it's for the higher or middle and higher grades. Okay, so on here is the online courses. So if you wanted your child to take some online courses, you could go here and see what they have available. So, so here are some examples of courses that, that people could take for the different ages. Looks like they have more in the upper grades. So high, so high school, middle school has more than the younger ages. and Let's just take a look at the price. So the price for year long would be, just for one class would be close to $600. So when I took a look at the curriculum, it was looking more expensive to buy the physical textbooks and workbooks. So I placed it in this category. And if you wanted to do online courses, it would definitely push it over into that higher, more expensive category. So I forgot to talk about what these mean here. So in general, one dollar sign, is probably in the 300 and below range to get the full curriculum for a child. And full curriculum, I mean math, English, social studies, and science, and maybe Bible if it comes with that box set. And so two would be more in the 400 to six or 700 range. And then three of these would be like 800 plus per child range. So just forgot to mention that is the system I'm using for these videos. The next, one, the next one I wanted to talk about is Memoria Press, also a Christian curriculum company in the $2 sign range, a lot of physical textbooks, workbooks with some online courses, but I only saw Latin. So I'm not sure if they have other online courses, but at the time when I was looking, I only saw Latin, but they also have complete curriculum sets available. So let's take a look at that site. So here we are at Memoria Press. And so let's take a look at the curriculum packages. So here we go, so here we go. Let's say we are in fifth grade and we would like the fifth grade package, $554. So that looks like a lot of books for that price. So that is a very reasonable mid-range price for a full year of curriculum for one child. It has a mix of workbooks. It has Latin. It looks like a wide range of different types of books. And so if you're interested in that, definitely come over to Memoria Press and check that out. Now I'm going to go to Shop by Grades, and I'm just going to take a look at what they have for fifth grade. So they have some literature, guides with novels, read aloud set, reading for American history, Bible. This looks like probably the guide for the whole fifth grade year. Latin composition, math, they use rod and staff math. Haven't heard too much about rod and staff math, but is it much more classic and older curriculum? All right, geography, literature, 
Okay, so there's the types of material that would be in the complete package for grade five. It does look like they use a mix of other companies to put these sets together, like spelling workout. I have definitely seen those before. I've used those in my own fourth grade class back when I was teaching. So that is what they have at Memoria Press. Okay, next we're at Veritas Press, also a Christian company. I have $3 signs, so we'll take a look at that in a minute. Physical textbooks, workbooks, and online courses available. They have complete grade level sets available as well. And some of the more popular curriculums that they use are IEW Writing, Shirley English, Saxon Math. And you could choose to take one course at a time. For example, a history course with video. Let's take a look at their website. So here I am at Veritas Press. Let's take a look at their products. I'm going to go ahead and look at fifth grade. Here is the complete grade level package. And these grade level packages look like they come with a lot of things. So like Memoria Press and Veritas Press, the prices may be higher than when I was looking at the traditional curriculum. However, it looks like it comes with more different subjects. So here we go. They have different levels. They have best, better, and good. So it looks like the good set, you're paying about 1100 for the whole set. Better, 1500 and best, 1700 So that is quite a lot of money, I would say, in general, for one child. But if that is what, if this is the sort of curriculum you want, I think if you can afford it, it's definitely worth getting the best curriculum for your child. So it looks like it has IEW Writing, a very popular writing program, Saxon Math, Shirley English, I've heard of that. They have Latin, Geography, it looks like History down here, and Readers, and I'm not sure what these are. So you can get your year's worth for $1,100. Let's take a look at their Academy. They have online courses. Let's just look at the grammar, which is K through 6. And so it looks like we're in the courses. I am just curious what, what the cost is of a course. Okay, so there we go. It's about 600 for a course for the school year. So $600 if you wanted to pay for an online course. And it looks like they meet twice a week for just over an hour. So that's just some examples of some courses that you could take. So now we have Pandia Press, and this is the secular option that I actually had to look very hard to find for you in case you are secular homeschoolers. So Pandia Press has physical textbooks and workbooks. Also, it only has history and science available. So I do feel like those are the two subjects where you would probably, if you are a secular homeschooling family, it would probably matter the most to you that it is a secular curriculum. So Pandia Press has history and science, and then maybe you would be able to find some other resources for all the other subjects that might not be too much religion for you. But here's some options if you want to try to do classical and you're having a hard time finding secular options. So let's take a look at Pandia Press. Here we are at Pandia Press. They have several series. So we have the Real Science Odyssey. We have History Odyssey. We have History Quest. Those are the three. So let's take a look at the Real Science Odyssey. So they have elementary levels and high school levels. So there you go, the range first through fourth, 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 fifth, and third through sixth. So they have those, and then they would have middle school and high school as well. So that is Real Science Odyssey, History Odyssey. So we have grades three to seven, six to 10, and nine to 12. And here's what they look like. These are more the higher levels here. And then we have History Quest, which I have heard, I would say I have heard the most about History Quest. It sounds very interesting. It sounds like it's written in a, it says here, a storytelling tell, and hands-on manner. So it sounds very narrative. So if you were a Charlotte Mason-ish and you wanted a history that would be more like a narrative, this sounds like it could fit the bill. And so here are the three things you would get, for example, early times, and there's middle times, 
And then modern history is come. Okay, so I'm not sure what's happening there, but they have early times and middle times so far. And I have heard good things about History Quest. Also, I forgot to mention here, as you can see, I gave it one dollar sign. So pretty inexpensive, I would say, for the set. So for just science or for just history, a very reasonable price, inexpensive price for your child to do that for that year. So classical conversations. This is a little bit different in that the main idea behind classical conversations and what makes it different from other classical educational approaches is that community is a key feature in classical conversations. So typically, if you are doing classical conversations, you are doing this with a community in your area. So it is a Christian program. The price range would be $2 signs to $3 signs. And this depends on the place that you are renting and the space, the space and the fees and the books and how much you're paying for the tutors and all that. So the prices range from place to place. However, it is in the higher range, I would say, per child. Like I said, it is community based. You would meet once a week with other community members and you would have a tutor or teacher teaching your children. But parents are encouraged to be actively involved in the community, either by sitting with their children and helping them learn or becoming a tutor themselves. All the communities who are doing classical conversations all over the United States, and I'm not sure if there are some outside of the United States, but all of the communities are going to be going through the same cycles at the same time. So they would be learning the same science that year. They would be learning the same things in history that year. So if you talk to someone else who's in classical conversations, you are probably doing very similar work at the same time. Memory work is strongly emphasized and young children learn a lot of facts through recitation and songs and children all go to classes that emphasize the different phases of the trivium, the grammar, the logic or dialectic and rhetoric stages. So your child will be in a class with their peers based on what level of development they are and they will be working on different types of activities as they go through the developmental stages. There is not a lot that I can show you on the Classical Conversations website because it is very localized. Each group is a little bit different, although they do try to make things as standard as possible. So you could just take a look at this website if you're interested in classical conversations and you could read through what classical conversations is and how they are different than other programs. Here are the different levels that your child would be in. So four and up, four to eight, nine plus and 12 plus and they are doing different sorts of things in those different ages. So you can purchase the curriculum to do on your own. I'm guessing you would probably want to be part of a community first to really understand how to implement that on your own. And I think part of the benefit of this is if you're in a community, your child, as they grow older, they'll have peers to be able to converse with, to talk to, to learn to give presentations. They give a lot of presentations in this program, like weekly presentations. Children are up in front of their peers on a weekly basis. And so they learn how to speak well and fluently and not be as nervous in front of others. So that is what part of the program. So let's take a look at the curriculum. They do have some information about the curriculum. Let's look at the bookstore. And here are the bundles. So the younger bundles, medium to, and then more advanced. And so you could just say, okay, my child is in this age range. And so this is the curriculum. So that's the curriculum guide. I believe it has a lot of things in there and some memory aid. And then these would be the what they would be doing in writing. But in general, you would be meeting once a week with your community. The teacher would go through certain things with your child. And then throughout the rest of the week, you would be working through the curriculum. So this is very much a program where you're probably not picking and choosing your own curriculum. You're going to be doing what the whole community is doing. And I think it's pretty standard throughout the United States, wherever there's a classical conversations group. So those are the classical curriculums that I know of that I thought I would present to you if you're a new homeschooler or you're just curious about learning more about the classical style of education. I hope that was helpful just to give you an idea of where you can start and what each 
company or publisher might have for you. Feel free to leave in the comments below anything that you might know more about these companies and feel free to leave a question. I will try to answer any questions. However, like I said, I am not an expert in the classical style of education. I am just someone who's very interested in curriculum and I've heard about a lot of these curriculums and I thought I would just find the resources and put them out here for you in case you're looking for the classical style of education and resources to get started on. Thank you for coming today. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. This is part of my curriculum series, which is also part of my How to Start Homeschooling series. So I'll link that above here in case you're interested in that. Goodbye, everyone.